Welcome to Night Sky Notebook. My name is Peter Dederlein, and this is what's happening for September 2023. Let's start with the moon phases. Third quarter begins on September the 6th, new moon on the 14th, first quarter on the 22nd, and full moon at the end of the month on September 29th. very interesting lineup on September 4th. The Pleiades, the most beautiful star cluster in the entire sky, the Moon, and Jupiter, all kind of low and lined up at about 11 o'clock p.m. on the 4th of September over in the eastern part of the sky. We begin with the Moon. It's the easiest one to find. Jupiter is going to be very easy to locate as well. Very, very bright, just to the right of the Moon. Look about the same distance from the Moon to Jupiter to the left of the Moon, and you'll find the Pleiades. You may need some binoculars because the Moon's going to be pretty bright, but it is a really cool lineup to see on September 4th. Check it out. The Zodiacal Light. This is so neat, but you're going to need a moonless night, which is why we're going to do this from September 12th to the 26th. And you're going to have to get up early in the morning. So you want to look at for this right before dawn. You want to start about 90 minutes, about an hour and a half before, and you need a really dark sky. That's essential. So if you have a lot of light pollution, you live in town, got street lights around, that's not going to work for this. It'll look like this little cone of light that comes out, almost like a, a Milky Way near the horizon. But it actually follows the ecliptic. And it's reflected dust from the collisions of leftover debris from the beginning of our solar system. It is beautiful to see. Check it out. Antares and the moon are right over there in September 20th at 8 o'clock p.m. I put this in because it's the official last day of summer and Antares in Scorpius is definitely a summer constellation. Orion and the Scorpion got into a battle and they were put at opposite ends of the sky. So the Scorpion rules the summer, Orion rules the winter. So when the Scorpion sets, Orion rises. You can see the moon and the bright, beautiful, red giant star, super red giant star, Antares, on September 20th, right after sunset. Check it out. And now we have the first day of autumn. The autumnal equinox occurs at 10.50 a.m. on September 22nd. The sun on that day is going to rise due east. On that day, it's going to set due west. It's only on the equinox when that happens. And at the end of the month, Saturn and the moon. Rising around 7 o'clock p.m., Saturn was closest to the Earth last month. It is still gorgeous to see through a telescope. So check it out at a star party that's going to be held by a local astronomy club or if you have a telescope, now's a good time to take a look at Saturn. And that's it for September 2023. If you want more information, check out my blog at Night Sky Notebook at blogspot.com. Until next time, keep looking up.